Now reading Jacob's School Play. Starring he, she, and they. The story is written by Ian and Sarah Hoffman. Illustrated by Chris Case. Jacob and Sophie were excited about the class play. Miss Reeves had helped each kid pick their part. Now the classroom buzzed as everyone worked on costumes and sets. I'm going to build the tractor engine, said Jacob. And I'll get the wagon ready, said Sophie. Emily, who are you in the play? asked Jacob. She's the cow, interrupted Noah. See her tail? Jacob looked at Noah. You're the sheep, right? The ram, yelled Noah. Isn't a ram just a sheep? asked Jacob. A ram's a boy sheep, said Emily. See his horns? Across the table, Ari painted big blue swirls. Who are you in the play? asked Jacob. Water, said Ari. Which water? asked Jacob. Are you the cloud, the rain, or the pond? Yes, Ari nodded. I'm the water. Jacob frowned. Miss Reeves, why does Ari get to play three parts? They don't have three, just one, the water, said Miss Reeves. Jacob looked at Sophie. She shrugged. Noah tested the glue, strapped on his horns, and ran headfirst into Ari. Stop it, shouted Ari. What happened? asked Miss Reeves. He butted him, said Jacob. I'm not him, said Ari. I'm they. Ari, you're just one kid, said Noah. They means two kids, said Jacob. They can mean one kid, said Ari. Jacob dipped his brush in a tub of green paint and thought. Ari was water. The water in the play was three things. Was that why Ari was they instead of he or she? Ari, are you a boy or a girl? asked Jacob. There's more than just boy and girl, said Ari. Jacob switched to black paint as he worked on the tractor wheels. You could be a boy or, or a girl and still wear whatever you want. I do. Sophie does. So do I, nodded Ari adding ribbons to their cardboard cloud. Jacob painted and thought some more. Miss Ruth sat down next to Jacob. Are you confused about Ari? Jacob nodded. Well, some kids feel like boys. Some kids feel like girls. And some kids feel like both or neither. In our classroom, we say he she or they when we talk about people. But boys can wear dresses, said Jacob, and be he. That's right. But that's different, said Miss Reeves. This isn't about what you wear. This is about who you are inside. Who is Ari inside? asked Jacob. From the outside, we can't see who anybody is on the inside, said Mrs. Reeves. So we have to trust them when they tell us. A week later, the classroom echoed with happy chatter as family and friends found seats for the play. Miss Reeves turned out the lights and the room went quiet. She flipped the lights back on and the sun stepped through the door. I'm up! Farmer Sophie stepped out of the barn and breathed in deep. I love the smell of sunshine, she said. The whole room chuckled. Let's plant some corn. Jacob rode the tractor out of the barn. I've got the corn kernels. Time to get in the dirt, said Sophie. She tapped each kernel gently, snug in the dirt. 
The colonels hummed a quiet underground song. Ari walked in and blocked the sun. Looks like rain, said Jacob. Good, our farm needs water, said Sophie. Ari crossed the sky and rained down on the farm. The colonels rustled their new leaves and sang a bright growing song. Ari traveled to the barn where they filled the pond. Boo, said Emily, walking out of the barn. I'm glad the pond is filled. Bah, said Noah. Maybe you should take a bath. You're stinky. You're a rude ram, said Emily, and chased Noah around the pond. Everyone in the audience laughed. Trailing raindrops, Ari stood up. Ari traveled back across the field, sprinkling rain on the corn again. The corn stretched and sang a happy, all-grown-up song. Ready to harvest, said Sophie. Jacob stood on stage, and I looked at his classmates. They looked so different wearing their costumes, playing their parts, but he still knew who they were. Suddenly, Jacob realized that everyone was looking at him. It was his turn to speak, but he couldn't remember his line. So, he said what he was thinking. Our class is just like a farm. We all help each other grow, and everyone grows up to be what they're supposed to be. Everybody in their own way. After Farmer Sophie had gathered up the corn, she joined Farmer Jacob and the rest of the cast in a line across the stage. They all held hands and bowed. The audience clapped and cheered. Jacob whispered to Miss Reeves, I'm glad Ari's they... Why's that? She whispered back. Jacob smiled. Because they know who they are. Applause filled the room and the kids bowed again. He, she, and they. And that is the end of our story. Jacob's School Play starring he, she, and they.